Hey guys, welcome back to Adam Smashers, a Minecraft mod pack all about exploring the solar system as soon as we get some rockets going. Seriously guys, I am working towards it, but we need to get some uh, base um, machines on the go, things down and about that can like make our journey easier. But before we even, before we even get on with today's episode, guys... I have confessions. You 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 see that red, uh, that purple, sorry, X back there. Yeah, that's not the only one to talk about. So you might remember at the uh, end of last episode, we were mucking around with uh, the harvester over there. Um, well, we had managed to uh, do that, and nighttime was rolling in, so I was like, right, I'm going to slam down a bed and get myself a morning time. Whilst I was in the bed, I stopped my audio recording, but something immediately happened that meant that I forgot that that had happened. Yes, that's right, I got jumped by a zombie literally immediately. Um, I, I got over it quite quickly. I came back and I got my stuff, but I looked up, down at the... Uh, uh, at my, my my indicator that I have in the bottom right, you guys probably don't know this, but I've got an indicator in the bottom right of my screen that tells me whether I'm recording or not, and that one was a go, but that's my video recording, that's not my audio recording, but I didn't take any note of that, I just went, hey guys, welcome back, and we've got ourselves a problem, you know, and I just launched into an episode. Which, you know, is all good, but I was going to show you guys how to make a harvester. Hey, we got, we've got Kill Me coming over here. Cool. Uh, but I was going to make a uh, crop harvester. And in fact, unfortunately, I went ahead and actually uh, did that. Down here, you can see that I have got the thing. Now, the, the only thing I need to tell you about here was... Let's have a look inside my JEI here. You can see the harvester, it requires emeralds. Now, that's a fine, because I know exactly that... And that's all right, kill me if you're watching this, no problem at all. Uh, I knew exactly where a village was. So off I went, off on a little a bit of a run, uh, and got ourselves a few emeralds. Just just farming carrots. That was nice and easy. Now, on my way back, I brought a boat, and I thought that was, uh, that was a good way to travel around. And I found myself a zombie soldier. Soldier. Yes, indeed. Now, I, I, I pulled over because I wanted to have a look at this thing and got my uh, my shield out and walked towards it and found that, that wow, the shield is a super effective against guns. And I was like, all right, cool. How are we going to figure out how I can get down and have a fight with this guy? I only had my sword, but with the shield, I thought it would be... Yeah, that's right. For some reason, <laughs> for some reason, the shield didn't continue giving me as much blocking as it did uh, the whole other way. So uh, I died again for some unknown reason and, and I literally don't know why you can look at my shield right now this is exactly the same shield it still has um let's pull this one up it still has durability on the go so I, it's not like it broke it wasn't wasn't like that that's what happened that, that was my immediate thought but no no it didn't but anyway I got back here and if we have a look over uh, yonder Wow, that not only was very loud, but also uh, broke broke stuff there. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but yeah, if we have a look over here, we have a la crop harvester. This is the thing that I was actually uh, aiming to uh, make here. It's a little bit weird. It is a little bit weird. I mean, first off, if we look back up here, emeralds, diamonds, uh, nether quartz, dispenser, and obsidian. Nice, nice and easy to make, really. The emeralds were the hard bit, but we we, we got, got that sorted nice and uh, quick. Uh, next thing, I mean, like we can we can put. A preview on here you can see how much room it takes up i feel like we're going to need to make ourselves a new farm area that is almost a definite here just so we can get a bit more food on the go can i drop one of these in here no we've discovered already that's not how it works and what happens about this let's um turn it on now is this to, is this going to be selecting oh, I, mean, I, I suppose i probably need to put a whole bunch of stuff in it but is it going to be checking the same way as the uh, tree harvester back there no it does do individual things over the top of okay okay over the top of the crops that's fine it doesn't just go back and forth over the whole lot that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool i'm sure oh and it stores it in here ah oh. Awesome. Awesome. Well, there we go. That was those quests. Let's have a look in the quest line. I can't remember exactly what it is that I grabbed. In fact, I have not grabbed anything. I realised beforehand that, well, you know, things have gone wrong. I I'm looking at the enchantment table here. I, I think that's probably a good one. Uh, retrieval complete. Oh, yeah, enchantment table. There we go. For some reason, that didn't want to select there. That's cool. So we got that one on the go. Uh, food is simple. I, I think... I think one of the first things we need to build up top there is to make a kitchen. Um, I need a kitchen and some storage area. These are the two things that I am a super all about right now. And I mean literally right now. I'm going to go build myself a, a giant wall of drawers 
and also at the same time make myself a kitchen area. It's got to, it's got to be a go, right? It's got to be a go. So I've been watching this little harvester for a little while now, and for a little while I'm going to let you know that it's actually IRL the next day now. Uh, oh, that didn't that didn't work. What's actually much better now? Ah, don't kill me. <laughs> What's actually a much better way of doing it now is using the vein miner with my uh, my trusty old axe here. I'm just going around picking up all the stuff that drops. I have had a few ideas about how I would deal with this a la vanilla, you know, well, well, you know, I suppose we're in the modded pack and this is from a mod, but if I was to be um, spending a lot of time here, I would dig out the area underneath, and I, I even started doing so before I was like, actually, you know what, this is a silly idea, I shouldn't do this, but yeah, dig out the entirety of underneath, run some rails underneath, get a hopper minecart, picking up all the stuff that gets dropped, bring it to a sorting system of some description, I mean, either modded or vanilla. It doesn't really matter. Pull out the wood, turn it to charcoal, turn half of it to charcoal. Pull out the saplings, pump it back into this machine. Put the charcoal back in the machine, keep some of the wood for, for storage. I mean, that would be glorious. But that sounds like a lot of effort for a modded game. So I think what we're going to do instead is head inside. So whilst all I, whilst I've been doing all of that, I've also been doing a few things in here. You can see I've put a bit of a border down around the outside of the floor there. Literally just cobble. Cobble, cobble and chisel. Doesn't it look amazing? I think it's great. I've also put this door safety system in. Unfortunately, I don't have any slime balls. So they kind of just stay there at the moment. It's it's a, more of a more of a manual system, if you will. Oh wow, the uh, the vein miner doesn't work on chiselled blocks. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that again. We're, we're gonna do a quick experiment. I'm gonna stand in the middle. I'm gonna press nine and hold it down. Yeah, vein miner doesn't work on chiselled blocks. I am uh, very very surprised about that. Land Strider, is that something that you can work on? I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, over here we have this nice little double chest that I have been uh, setting up for us whilst we have been out and building. I'm just going to kind of look that way so that I know if anything's going to creep up on me. Uh, so I'm working towards basic drawers. You can see here I've got an awful lot. I've also got an awful lot of stuff in my inventory. I should probably have done something about that. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, totally didn't make a chest just to dump everything into there. No, no, no. That would be irresponsible gameplay there. That would be. Okay, cool. So in here you can see that I've been making a load of drawers. That's great. But the next thing we are going to want, of course, is the compacting drawers. For those of you that don't know, uh, things like iron come in many forms. It comes in nuggets, it comes in Blah, uh, nuggets, ingots, and, and blocks. Look, blocks right there. Uh, so the com compacting drawers, let's just type in drawers over this side. Uh, we can go compacting drawer, just like that. I want to grab a whole a bunch of them. We're going to get 14. That's not the number that I'm going to settle upon, but it was just a number that would enable me to get started on this wall over here. And then we've also got this weird setup here. What is this for? This is for the uh, drawer controller. Now, this is a thing... I'm not sure if you guys are aware of what it does. Basically, this is a, a, a an item that you can walk up to having it in the middle of your base. So let's say, for instance, that I want to keep it there. I, I almost exactly do. Uh, and then I'm going to put a couple of uh, blank holders here. That That's not where I wanted that. I'm fairly sure that... Oh, have I got to click on the back wall? Is that is that what this is going to be like? Uh, I really don't want to learn this advanced rocketry mod. Uh, but that's what, the, that's what the mod's all about. Actual king of distractions. It is ridiculous. Okay, draw controller here. Basically what it does, is it will take items that you right-click with into a drawer that's already got the items in. Uh, that's, that's nice and simple. So all you do is assign which drawer you want to do it on, right click on the draw controller. Simple as that. Yeah, okay, so I have to put some blocks on the back. Okay, so for now, we're just going to go with that. Let me let me go and grab some... Oh, it's, a, it's an engine outside. I was like, no, zombies! But it, no, no, it's a, it's an engine outside. Lol. Uh, I'll use cobble because I've got more access to pickaxes than I have to actual axes. We'll just pop that there and we'll just pop this one over here. Okay, so down below I'm going to put a few machines that we're going to work on afterwards, but if we just kind of put these ones uh, like this. I'm going to go across with two. Now, now these two drawers are like maximum storage per space available, at least per block if you will. Because in this one you can get 64 in the top drawer, 64 in the bottom drawer. If I had actually made it all these 4x4s, four you can only get 32 in each, which is the same number of items in the block, but 
you can't get as many of the same item in the block if you see what I'm saying so that, that, that's the way we're gonna work that out uh, I'm just gonna slap another one on yeah no no right here right here we're gonna go for a compacting draw compacting draw we're gonna have the same on this side now I'm expecting I am expecting that these compacting draws will go along this way and this way two two lines going almost all the way I've, I've just got a feeling that's what's gonna work we might even have metals on that side and powders on the other like bones redstone glowstone stuff like that lapis question mark uh, I think that would be cool and then we're gonna kind of carry on our way up here man I've got to got to decide what we're gonna put in the background here uh, what what block I could definitely go with maybe some sort of glass facade but then of course the outside would only be seeing uh, drawers but what I'm gonna do now is just spend a little bit of time rearranging this little setup here so I can figure out where I want to put the rest of my stuff So I've mildly got my sort on. Uh, I, I think we're looking pretty good there, but I've got a whole load of stuff underneath the ground that I'm sure you guys are aware of, as well as a few things inside the entrance to the cave over there that I would like to move. And I don't want to just like empty it all out into my inventory because that is the scrub way of doing it. Indeed, if I come inside my uh, my JEI here, I keep wanting to call it NEI. It's not enough, not enough items anymore. It's just enough items. I don't know if you guys are aware of the change there. The packing tape. Packing tape is something I need. A paper. Paper I got, slime balls, slime balls I ain't got. But thankfully, if we have a look at my map here, you can see that there is swamp. Oh man, there is a swamp. So I think I'm going to go looking for some slimy boys. Uh, I am a little bit concerned that maybe it's not a full moon tonight. Uh, is it full moon or new moon where they spawn more in? I can never remember whether it's more light or less light that the slime's like, but we will uh, go and find out. Also, super terrified of some of these places around here. Let's, uh, let's have a quick look. I, I, I surely, surely must be able to throw some torches down here and make it less hospitable for the bad guys. Ah, my glowing mushrooms! This is... Ah! I know where I am. I know where I am. It's crazy, right? Uh, that I would know the, the caves around my own little area. Should we go? Uh, uh, so I'm a little bit worried because you can see those red dots on my uh, my map up the top right. Now, I'm not really looking at that. Ooh, oof, good. Which is good. Which is good. But I know one of those red dots is a Dalek. And you, you know that big hole out the back of my base? Yeah, well, a Dalek is the thing that made that. So I am super worried. I've got my yo-yo on me. Let's put that on my hotbar. <laughs> that will be helpful. Um, I've got my yo-yo on me. Oh, this is Decipher's little farm area here. It's looking pretty good. So, yeah, I suppose I'm just going to kind of walk around and hope that slime spawn before anything else nasty does. Maybe I'll go around and just light up this swamp a little bit. That that might be a plan. Okay, night time is upon me, and honestly, I'm a little bit worried about how I'm how well I'm going to do today. I oof. I have not fared too well in this mod pack when it comes to fighting, it has to be said. Uh, but slimes, slimes aren't anything special, right? I'm a little bit worried that maybe, maybe they won't be spawning tonight. I, I don't know how to... Um, I don't, I don't know how to encourage them properly in this pack. I would imagine that just throwing the torches down over there is a good start. I'm waiting to see if any red dots appear. Oh, there we go. We've just had nighttime be told according to the map. A little little crescent moon showed up. But still... Ah, there we go. We've got a red dot. What What are you? What are you? You're underground. That's that's not what we want. That is, that's not even slightly what we want. Can, can we see something over there? No. Uh, is that is that full moon? I don't know. Are we are we still in sync with the phases of the of the vanilla Minecraft moon because we got this one? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how that would work out. Right, nothing really has been spawning over here. This is a bit of a shame. I am gonna stop talking now, and if I find something interesting, I'll let you know. And if not, I suppose I'll see you at sunrise. Right, well, I suppose that's the uh, end of the night there. Didn't find anything, anything at all worth talking about. I mean, well, there's, there was one thing worth talking about. It was over this way. I'm not sure if it's dead. Let's uh, 
Do I see some fire over here? Somewhere over here there is a skeleton grave and I want to get rid of it because it makes my life pretty awkward coming through here. Was it those ones I just jumped down or these ones over here? It's a little bit of a shame that it's not like permanently marked on my map. That would have been nice to uh, to see. Uh, but yeah, no no slimes. That's a little little disheartening. We're going to have to try and find another way. Uh, there, there it is. That's the graveyard uh, gravestone that we're going to go for. Let's go and just knock this bad boy down. Uh, and oh, ooh, 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 we're going to get are we going to get one of those headless things pop out if we do this? Let's just do that quick. All right, it's just bones. That's fine. I'll take those bones. Thanks very much. And hopefully we won't have any more skeletons spawning here. Maybe we'll get more more slimes because of that. Maybe. So with that not being a thing, I suppose moving things by hand is the aim of the game today. Is that all of them? Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to take that basic drawer over. Uh, what else do we want to make sure we take? Down here, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Now, the cobble cobble holders they're not going to be moved Let, let's be honest here there is so much cobble down here that i don't think we're going to be able to move any of it but i think we could probably move a few other things uh do i want like this up there i think i think i actually want to keep these here let's grab some uranium lithium boron like, like all these things let's grab as much of these as we can and go and pop them back oh i got a quest complete Special silicon. Ooh, where's this come from? I was I was planning to get another quest done, but uh, there we go. Let's do that. These these are the quests I'm planning to go through in a second. Special silicon. Here we go. Special silicon and sonic crystal. Okay, that's that's the things to be worked on there. <laughs> So, rubber is about to become a big part of our lives. Now, thankfully, Decipher, who has been streaming ahead of progress than me, so he's gone on, uh, made his own base somewhere. Decipher has made me a whole bunch of rubber, but I think before I utilize that, I should show you where it comes from. So, if I remember correctly, we make something looking like that, and you get a T trap. Now, a, a T trap? No, a T. Let's try that again. A, a tree tap. Yes. Language. I'm good at it. I'm good at it. Trust me. Trust me. But over here we have a few uh, few trees growing and on them We've got these little like rubber spots now. I believe IRL people have to come along and cut the wood the, the wood open before it starts uh, Leaking this stuff out, but as this is how Minecraft we will click on it like that and we get one of these now This is pretty good. We take it down uh, to my little crafting area down it Do I actually have a furnace in my little crafting? I do I do that's that that's cool I'm not sure if I've got anything else to like burn with here, but let's let's throw that in there a waste of wood a waste of materials But that's gonna be all good now. Why have we got this? I'll meet you back at the other base to tell you why so the next quest I want to do before we finish the uh, episode up here is to get simple power and ore doubling done. Now that should be a nice and simple. Uh, we come over to here. First thing I want to point out, you can see I've got some IC2 iron ingot, uh, tin ingot, sorry. And over here we've got some uh, mechanism tin ingot. Now it used to be that I would be able to just like click that in there and it'll turn it into whichever one was in there originally. Yeah, that ain't working anymore. That that's a little a bit of a shame, but we'll we'll work around that somehow. Now the first thing I want to build, if we come over to here, I'm gonna go slash IC2 or at IC2 because that shows us all the things we want here. Now I want to build uh, this particular for this particular version, one of these versions here anyway. And to do that, we need to make a battery. Wow, the wind is strong. Let me deal with that. Our battery's nice and simple. We need to make ourselves a tin cable up here and also some casings. Now this tin cable is made from a tin. Plate plate and a cutter. Two things that we don't have access to at the moment. Thankfully inside this chest I've got an obsidian um, piece and a small plate pressure. I have to take my time to say that one because that is quite the tongue twister. Uh, I'm going to just take this block out here, pop this one in the corner and I think we need a bouton. Uh, cobblestone is not going to be the winner there so let's just grab ourselves one of these. Nice. So if we take this tin block, place it in the gap Get the button and go katonk. Look at that. We get ourselves a four plates. That's that's more plates than I was expecting. That's good. I'm gonna do that again because we need the plates for a thing. Okay, that's cool. Now I also need to do this with iron. I believe we'll we'll just go with one iron block for now. Just one iron block for now, as I think that's all we want. Yeah, that gives us four. That's cool. And we go one, two, may, may, maybe, maybe. I think if I remember correctly from what I saw earlier, if I do a little bit like this, we get ourselves a 
tin cutter. Okay, that's nice and uh, wicked. Get ourselves a little bit of tin in there. We get three of those. That is a solid. Uh, can I remember how to do the next bit? Not, not really. Not really. Uh, that was not a leash, really? That's that's not what I want. I want this one down here. Thanks very much. So just a single bit of cable and a single bit of rubber and cable. So that's pretty cool. We'll pop those in there. Those in there. Kabikity bam. We've got ourselves our first bit of cable. Okay, that's cool. The next thing we need to build, of course, is the actual actual battery itself. Take a couple of those. Come into here. Redstone cable and a plates is this right hmm i have a feeling that the tin plates should be working but it's not right now i've got to make this specific ic2 casing which it says is uh four of tin plates together all right may maybe if i actually read what's going on yeah we got two of those i still need another one that's fine we just come on over press the plate combine the plates grab the casings Bing -bing -bang. all right cool so there's that that this and the wire Okay, cool. I thought I thought there was a little bit of a mismatch going on there, but that's fine. We've got ourselves an empty battery. Uh, okay, to do this, we're going to come along uh, to this furnace. Can we make it with iron plates around the furnace? I think that's the expensive way to go. Uh, let's just count. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that is actually the same number as making this, is it not? Yeah, so this is eight around the outside. Okay, we can go with that. Looks like, yes, that is the way to go. So we just need eight. Was that tin plates or iron plates? Of course, it would be iron plates. So that's the iron furnace. There is the, not the cable. We want a battery, of course. And then I believe it's just a line of those across the middle. Big bam. We got ourselves a generator. I'm going to put that in the middle for now. That's pretty cool. The next thing I want to make is the macerator. And I'm totally set up for this. So let's come in here. Oh, man. My door is once again open. So the macerator is relatively simple. We just need ourselves some flint cobblestone. One of those uh, iron machines that you make out of iron plates. And then there's this thing we need ourselves a circuit board and that could be super involved and lots of stuff to do or i could come into the quest line open up technology uh simple power i don't <clears throat> If I could just grab that thanks that that would be that'd be amazing thank you let's get back in here okay so this is complete and we get to claim one of these oh look that's exactly what I'm looking for up there. So we'll grab one of those and save us a little a bit of effort there. Now, thankfully, I have three flint up top. Okay, so let's slam down these plates in here. Get ourselves a machine frame. We put the machine frame and the circuit inside. We've got ourselves a couple of cobblestone and the flint. And we've got ourselves everything we set out to make here today. All right, let's just have a look in a quick uh, macerator. What am I going to choose? I don't know. We're going to choose that next time because... Because I have run out of time today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this massive adventure. I also want to point out, back here, I've made a storage room that kind of looks like a dude dancing. Two feet, arm hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will see you next time when we are going to go out and we're going to make ourselves... Well, I need some sort of automatic mining system. I need to get some sort of a massive system on the go for all sorts of processing, or all sorts of materials. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!